into the house of the Lord. My, my God. I come before you this morning with words of encouragement. Hallelujah. And, and it's, it's funny how God just opens things up to you as you're coming into the place. And Elder Matthew spoke my word on this morning. He spoke it and I knew it was confirmation from God. And that word says, for this is the day that the Lord hath made and we will rejoice and be glad. And this is the day that the Lord hath made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let, let's take that for a minute because see, I, I want us to get an understanding because the Bible tells us that in all our getting, we need to get an understanding. And we need to understand what this word is saying. When I asked God, show me what this word is saying. He took me back to Genesis. The Genesis, the first chapter and the 26th verse. And it says, let us make man in our image and let him have dominion. Let him have dominion. So when I look at this day, when I look at that word and it says, for this is the day. What day is it, Lord? It is the day that I have dominion over everything that is in my path. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Isaiah said it like this. He said in Isaiah 55, he said that every word that goes out of his mouth shall not return unto him void. Every word that comes out of the mouth of God is going to come back to him and is going to prosper that thing that he set it out to prosper. What we have to understand, saints, is God purposed in the beginning for us to have dominion. See, the thing is, we just don't walk long enough to get to that place of victory. See, it, 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 it looks like this. We, we have a set goal, and God has already set it up that we should have dominion. See, his purpose for your life has not changed. You shall have dominion in this life. Oh, that is a lie when somebody told you that you're not going to be able to have it here. You will have dominion in this life. It may not look like I got my healing today, but as long as I keep on walking, I will have dominion over everything that God has placed before me. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Let us see it. Let us believe it. See, when my belief meets the benefactor of my praise, that's when I get my victory. When my belief reaches the place of destination, that's when I get my victory. We have to be in a place where we understand this is the day that the Lord had made and I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. For this day, God has sent me above this. God has set me above my situation. He has set me above my problems. He has set me above the turmoils in my life. For this day, I have dominion. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! For this is the day that the Lord has made. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care about the problems that you're having. For this is the day when your belief it's going to meet your destination. Your belief is going to meet the benefactor of your praise. And when you get there, you will make your breakthrough. And God has it for you. Doesn't matter what you're going through. Doesn't matter where you've been. Today is the day. For well, this is the day that you, have to, you shall have dominion over every problem in your life. you got to believe that though. you got to believe it. Don't let nobody rob you of what God has given you. Don't let nobody take away what God has already blessed you with. In the beginning, he said it in his word. His purpose for us has not changed. We shall have dominion in this life. For this is the day that the Lord hath made. And I will, hallelujah, rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah.